everybody, this is a controversial video and I want to make sure I put a disclaimer that I don't actually condone the theft of music or, you know, recording it in the wrong way. But this is a technique which is available currently. And so I want to make sure that if you want to try this, that you'll know how to do it. Um, so that way, if you have a legitimate reason for doing this, then, um, then you'll have that tool in your toolkit. Um, simply doing this isn't really the issue. It's if you ever claim somebody else's music and release it or push it onto a platform that you don't have the rights for it. Um, simply experimenting with this, I don't believe is, is ethically wrong. Um, if anyone disagrees with me who's an attorney for Apple, then, um, then I apologize and um, I will certainly delete this video. But there's a new feature uh, through all of Apple Music, and that is the new Sing feature, which is essentially a karaoke style feature. It removes the vocals and lets you sing along with it. Um, because we have IDAM, which is the Inter Device Audio and MIDI, this is it right here. Uh, you can connect your mobile device to your computer um, and the sound becomes part of a driver. We can do this in several different ways, but um, so the input now is my iPhone and then the output is something else. I'll show you here in Logic what that looks like uh, right here. So the input is now my iPhone and the output is screen flow, which is what I'm using to screen capture here. So what I can do is then just set my input. I'm going to do a stereo input right there. Make sure it's a stereo audio channel. And um, then I just have my uh, multimeter on here because I was curious at what type of file we were getting what type of experience. And this is, it's not just a, a, like a, an effect to remove the vocals. It's actually the track with the vocals. Um, most of the time, um, greatly reduced. You can still hear them a little bit, um, but in some cases it's, uh, it's very, very low. And if you're just holding your phone with friends, uh, you're gonna be able to do that you know, karaoke experience. But sometimes it's kind of fun to be able to, um, you know, have those tracks and listen to them without the vocals uh, and see what's going on with them. So uh, you set the input in, you set the, put it into input monitor mode, you know, record arm the track, and then you can simply record. Just like that. And then Once you're done, you can just push stop. So that's that file. I'm leaving this all unnamed um, because obviously I'm not going to be playing anybody else's music on this video for the exact reason, you know, copyright protections and things like that. Um, but this is a way to get that into your project without the vocals or, you know, with that tool, you can always turn the vocals back on and, and have those in there. So it's, uh, a way to do that. But the sing feature itself um, is a really interesting new feature for certain groups who want to be able to sing along with the music. Uh, for some of us who are always, you know, interested in music production and some of those tools, it's an interesting way to listen to the track without having the vocals on it and learn from it. Um, but again, don't steal, um, don't abuse this and, uh, Hopefully this may be a tool that's helpful for you. Anyway, now I got to go create a thumbnail, which makes it look like I'm suggesting something illicit, even though I'm not, um, just to make sure you watch this video. But I uh, hope you're having a great week. Uh, more content coming this coming week. I uh, hope you're, uh, well, I'll talk to you later.